welcome back to dwbcorruption.co.uk and to continue the conversation with Alan Darby that's uh, become really interesting as we're learning more and more of corruption within the solicitors and the judicial system and the police and the IPCC every day. Alan's got some phenomenal information for us that we're going to continue to discuss pertaining to solicitors. Oh, Alan, how you doing, mate? Come on, let's let's see what we've got. Okay, Mars. Well, we'll con well, we'll go back to the uh, the information, criminal information. In legal terms, I'm laying criminal information to the most senior police officer in the English in the English system. Sir Paul Stevenson, commander of the Metropolitan Police, is the highest serving officer in the Majesty's Police Force. I write to Sir Paul, and I lay it in a statement of truth and fact, which is the old affidavit. If I tell lies in it, I'm committing a, a criminal offence. I'm swearing on the oath or I'm affirming, either way, it is the same document that's used in court. I make statements and I say as follows. And the letter is dated the 26th day of February 2009. And in the letter, I ask the support, because of the corruption that's going on, to safeguard the evidence that I will give him personally the information to where I believe David King is buried. That's a man who was murdered by solicitors through a prison officer, AJ Brown and I state, set out all the grounds. I write to the Chief Constable, the Commander of uh, the Metropolitan Police Force, and I give him a document dated the 15th of the 12th, 06, made by the prison officer's father, Leslie Brown, who admits, and I'll read from the letter. I, the above name, Leslie Brown, say as follows, Money Laundry. In 1997, this is the year that David King was murdered, I was paid £25,000 by North Warwickshire Border Council for so I am to understand fire damage to an outbuilding to my property. That is a garage that caught on fire that the solicitor to try and have some old on Brown laundered it through North Warwickshire Borough Council, stolen money, £25,000 laundered through. And if you look at the documents, you'll see where I've highlighted it, how the council claim that it was paid for fire damage. And they talk it was paid in denominators of 10000 15000 and 5000 and the dates, and it was paid for fire damage, 2D for fire damage. And he goes on, the money that I was paid comes from Michael J. Archer, solicitor of Archer Adams of Long Street, Addiston. The money was, I later found out, had been stolen from Archer Adams' client's accounts to disguise where the money came from. Michael Archer laundered the stolen money through North Warwickshire Borough Council. This is what the man stated. stated. At Michael, Michael Archer's trial in Coventry Crown Court in 1999 to 2000, criminal evidence used at the trial was fabricated by the Warwickshire Police. The police knew that the money I received was stolen money, but they entered me as a victim of Michael Archer. Now understand what I've just said. This man is admitting in a statement of truth and fact that he received £25,000. It was paid through the council and he claims that the police knew about it and at the trial in the case documents for the prosecution of this solicitor this man, Leslie Brown was paid or, or claimed, the police claimed that he was a victim he was a victim of the crime which I will do within a minute I will show you in the documentation where the police entered this £25,000 that Leslie Brown was given and they put on the statute in law that he had £25,000 stolen off him. And as such, he was paid £25,000 back by the solicitor's indemnity fund. So, uh, so who, who approved that then? For it to come from the solicitor's indemnity fund? Well, the power that Michael Bryan and the, the police and the Law Society was, uh, remember the indemnity fund is the Law Society himself. Right. And. Uh, they, I'll, I'll, I'll jump, I'll jump a, a section, but we've dealt with the letter, <coughs> I've made the allegation, so put that aside and we'll deal with the £25,000 to substantiate what I'm saying is in actual fact the truth. Because I have made statements and I will show these are the documents. In actual fact, the solicitor went to, to trial at Coventry Crown Court and the police charged him with stealing £3.3 .3 million. Pounds. In actual fact, what he stole was five point four five million four hundred and forty five thousand six hundred and sixty six pounds and ninety nine pence exactly, according to the records. Right. But 
100 offences, 100 offences, totalling to 2.2 2 million, 2 and a quarter million pounds, 200, 225,000 pounds, <coughs> 2 million, 225,000 pounds, he was not charged with. He was not charged with. That was taken into consideration. That is like me stealing a pack of cigarettes and I go to court for stealing a pack of cigarettes and they say, oh, you're a nice guy, we'll only charge you for stealing six of them. So they take six of the cigarettes out of the packet, close the packet and say to the judge, you stole that, Your Honour. And the judge looks and says, did you steal that, these nine cigarettes? And I say, yes, Your Honour. Why did you steal them? Uh, I smoked. But I packed up smoking the day I stole them and I gave them away so people would like me. And that's what the solicitor used in his defence. The judge never asked him who he gave the money to, and he turned around at his trial and he said, I only kept £100,000 for myself, and I, I gave the rest of money so people bit. would like me. This is doing me head in. Are you telling me that that bloke turned round and used that as an excuse so as the people would like me? That's what he said as his trial. It's in the Birmingham Mail, in the paper. Now, when you look at these documents, and all these documents, there are 100 offences, 100 offences that the solicitor was not charged with. And the reason he wasn't charged with because on entry number 53, it states the place of the crime, the place committed, that you did steal from Archer Adams, and the date of the offence was the 16th of the 12th, again 1997, the murder year, the year that David King was murdered. And it states the offence, details of the offence, this is the police documents, further and better particulars of statements of claim. And you can see... point to is can you put that on there I'm showing that one there Leslie Brown there it is there that 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 offence there to Leslie Brown there to Leslie Brown to Leslie Brown and it states the charges that you this is accusing the solicitor of stealing off his clients and he was charged with that you did steal twenty five thousand pounds belonging to Archer Adams solicitors. Contrary to section one, in brackets one, of the Theft Act nineteen sixty eight, and it reads Name of victim, Archer Adams, because the solicitors were the own victims, and it was two in brackets, L Brown, Leslie Brown. This is the same twenty five thousand pounds that Leslie Brown had laundered through North Warwickshire Borough Council. Yet the police have entered it as a crime being committed against Leslie Brown. And as such, he was paid by the solicitor's indemnity fund, £25,000. But, 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 if you look at these records, and you need to access them from the, the copies of the documents, the murder year, 1997, and it, it'll blow your mind, that at least... 40 of the offences that were committed in 97 and 98. But they didn't want the court to hear about these offences being committed because it brings attention to the fact that why did this, this Leslie Brown's son, prison officer, Andrew Joseph Brown, receive over £600,000 from the solicitors? What did Brown do? And I've asked the police to explain what did Brown do. The Independent Police Complaints Authority State told the, the Warwickshire Police, the Professional Standards Department, in a complaint I made against them, to specifically investigate Brown. And the Warwickshire Police, in their wisdom, the Professional Standards uh, Authority, said, we have no intentions to even contact DC Brian Treadwell. Oh, yeah. And in the last statement I made, on the last DV, v DVD I made, I referred to the police telling the IPC to go and stick the head up the ass. And I will repeat it that a bunch of thieves, the Warwickshire Police Professional Standard Department are a bunch of thieves and the IPCC is an absolute disgrace and should be closed down. Right, we're coming up to the end of the video once again. Welcome to Paul Five in just a while.